Hello lovely Aquarius. This is your weekly reading 7th till the 14th of August 2023. Okay, what do we need to know for Aquarius? Woo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for this week, please. <laughs> oh yes. Interesting already. Oh my God, okay. First card you get is the lovers, by the way. The lovers. Oh God. Whew. What is going on with you this week? card really wanted to come out. I saw it in the shuffle and then it came out again. Blue neck, right, this might not be for all of you. Got the two of cups in the reverse. Some of you may have been through a breakup recently. It may be in the past. It could be with a friendship, a job, a person, but you have to have loved them. Whether you loved the person, the job, the friendship, whatever it was. Your Cards are mostly in reverse, apart from the lovers. Now, the lovers, of course, used to be called the choice, and a lot of people have had it this week. Some kind of turning point arises here with this relationship, situation, ship, ship. I don't know. Please tell me in the comments section. Because we are in deep, deeply embedded in retrograde season, Lots of things are coming to the surface that maybe should have stayed put, but they're not going to. So there is this feeling of cripes, you know, am I still dealing with that? The answer is yes, you are. So the lovers, of course, is about the choice. It's about this person choosing between two other people. It's like a love triangle. Might even be that you're in a love triangle of something. And if you are, spill the tea in the comment section. For the love of God, let us all live through you, Aquarius. Now, I, I put, you know, I love Aquarians. I've got my Venus in Aquarius. And I think I put it in your comment section the other week, just about being an Aquarius. And I love the answers I got from loads of you about just, I don't know, I can't even describe it. It's not like you can't commit. It's just that, like my, lots of my friends are Aquarians and they're not clingy and I like that. I like the fact it's fresh. I like the fact you like to try new things. I like the fact you don't get stuck normally. You keep looking, you keep seeing, you're always like looking for a way out. How can I make this better? What can I do? There's a freshness about you and the, this situation, frankly, it's not, I want to say it stinks. It's not, it's not good enough for you. Now, there's all sorts of exes knocking around in this retrograde season, not just for you, but for everybody. There's all sorts of memories of people, whiffs of old relationships. Um, I feel like we've got the two of cups in reverse. I've got the ten of cups in reverse. What is done might just be done here, but it's playing out again like a ghost relationship. Please tell me in the comments. And it won't be for all of you this, but you may find as well, even if it's like gone for years, that you start dreaming about it. You're thinking about it, a song comes on, whatever, and you're back in there. And for some of you, there is somebody that will be trying to get back with you in some way. Get through to you, get back with you. It could be a friend. It could be a family member, but a lot of you, it's a love thing. And we've got the fool in reverse. Don't rush into anything. Don't take a gigantic leap of faith. You've got to read the runes here, Aquarius. Of course, people might be cross-watching about you because that's what I told you in that reading before. This was my big confession, that you were my number one sign when I did private readings, which I don't at the moment. You were the number one person everybody wrote to me about. Honest to God, at one point it was 90% about you. 
what are they thinking? My Aquarian person, I don't know what's going on. It's all about you. Now, the boots on the other foot, I feel like you have been in that situation where you didn't know what was going on and maybe you didn't know it about yourself or maybe you don't know it about them. But, oh my God, it's such a tangled web. Ten of Cups in reverse, the Fool in reverse, Justice in reverse going, I don't know. I don't even know what's true and what's not. You know, I'm going to say something really controversial probably, but, and I've got to be careful what I say. If the chemistry is good, well, it's up to you. The chemistry could be really, really, really good here. But the rest of it is a hot mess. Now, you know, make of that what you will and let me know in the comments section. But if you want a clear kind of conscience, and I don't know if you do, um, maybe not. Nine of pentacles there in reverse. This is the card that, that says to me you might because nine of pentacles is a card, single happy person, you know, you're relying on yourself, you're going to do it all yourself. For me as a reader, there's a bit of a cheekiness to the nine of pentacles in reverse. It's a card that says to me, you thought you were going to be single, well think again. I know, I'm dying to know Aquarius, dying to know. I love having coffee with my Aquarius friends, um, especially my yoga teacher, it's just fantastic. She's always got loads of good stories, she's always up to something, you know, it's brilliant. Now, you're the only one who got the grace card of love. What a mess. Is it a hot mess? I really want to know. I'm dying to know. Valentine wants to know, don't you Val? Val, do you want to know? Yeah, hello, dog. hello. Oh God, she tried to bite me. Valentine is an Aquarius. She was born on Valentine's Day. She really is as well. She's a right lone wolf is Valentine. Can never work her out. Very affectionate though, but only when she chooses to be. Now, your second option is correct. What was my first option, I hear you say? I understand that. I'm just saying, whatever your second option is, was. It's a bit of an is, was as well, because we've got Mercury retrograde coming up, so. I'm intrigued by this. It could be really exciting, actually. I'm just going to admit it. Ooh, you get fairy godmother, a wish granted and happy changes. Hmm. Let's have an animal spirit card for you as well. Why not? You've probably got like the juiciest reading that I've done this week. And you probably wouldn't have it any other way, would you? <laughs> oh, Aquarius, check out your monthly reading in the description box as well. It's in the playlist of monthly readings, about halfway down the page. <sighs> of course you do. Your animal spirit is the moth. It's an air sign card, of course, and you are an air sign. What do moths do, Aquarius? What do moths do? You've seen them do it in your house on your light bulbs. They are drawn to the flame. Now, they're obviously having a lot of fun in the pursuit of it. So I'm not gonna be the one to tell you it's right, wrong or indifferent, because I don't actually know because all the Aquarians I know seem to have a pretty interesting life. So you need to make that decision. <laughs> and I tell you what else you need to do, Aquarius, is you need to leave me a comment and hit the like button if this resonated, please, as well, because that just helps the video. But most of all, you're leaving me a comment, you're spilling the tea and you're not leaving me out of the loop, okay? See you soon. Namaste.